Welcome back, folks, to Hard West Mucor tonight as we dive back into the Doctor's campaign. Our character is suffering a bit. He's getting vertigo. Um, it's not great. He's also slowly going mad. Um, so we're going to have to watch for that. We've done everything that we can. We don't have enough clock tower parts to fit the clock tower. So let's go to the asylum. The church had been refitted into asylum. The old, the old man had told me of this place. Solomon approached the asylum from the east, heading for the main entrance. Right. And here's our group of associates who are going to help us. Terrifying, terrifying lot indeed. Okay. So what do we have left? We've got tobacco and healing elixirs. So he can have one. He's got mandrake. And he needs to have and that greatly improves movement. Good doctor has a shirt, which gives him a bonus to defense. So that should be okay. They've got no boost or boons. These guys aren't essential for us, so if they die, it's a pain, but not terrible. He is, though, so let's do this. We've got the Black Joker, which gives us plus 5 to movement, plus 5 to, the plus five to aim, plus 2 to movement, plus 4 to sight, plus health, while well, we have the cannibalistic, well, each human flesh to gain strength, restore health, um, 9 diamonds, exchange health with target character, bonus, plus 1 health, but requires luck. Searching for information that the plague of madness, Solomon and the per persons arrived at the old church had been converted to a mental asylum. It didn't take long for the inmates to mutiny, however, with the staff gone, it had descended into a chaotic, lawless mess. The church was now a makeshift asylum, but it appeared the inmates had taken over. The right. men guarding the doors all wore deputy badges that read, Turner. Delir wondered where Gilmer's office had been. Probably upstairs, he grumbled. Right. Only Delir knew how to identify the files. He would need to go there personally. Right, so we need to get in. Get through the building. I take it we can't unlock the front door because we don't have the key for it. But... There are stairs up. That can be used for ricochet, I believe. So we need to... And there's someone definitely there. Okay. So first off... Where can he go? He can't see anyone, but we've got to put him in the cover here. You can see the gentleman up here. Okay, so this is the plan that I've got. We need to get all the documentation, which are these ones here, and we need to pick up that, which is the main story quest. So we, it's relatively simple to get it all. He's got a shotgun. Let's run him around the back here. And then we'll flank up this way through the graveyard. So we've got that. We've got the pistol. Let's do that. Let's let's duck in here. Pull that up. This has a ah, this does have a ground floor, or well, first floor, I should say. So we could shove the sniper in here, which would give us a pretty good view of this area for a bit. But first, we need to clear it. Or we got the man with the rifle. We could, could can he get in here? 
I don't think you can get all the way up the stairs, that's the problem. Let's do that, let's have him charge in there. Right. 74% chance. Put a bullet straight into him. See, so put up, sent a shot off down range. Right, I do have to be careful though because he can get flanked. So, from that house, which will suck. So, first off. Where's the gentleman with the shotgun? Now, where can he get to? So I really need him to move up here, but I think it's going to take... Actually, we should be able to move there. Can't he shoot? He can't see anybody. Okay, that sucks. It's daytime. The sniper can't see anyone. So we'll move up here. Uh, let's see. He needs to reload. He can't see anybody. Get up to the window. Can you ricochet? I think you can. Uh, there's no targets that can be shot off. In range, anyway. 41% chance. Hit them. can't see them, which sucks. So let's relocate. He can't see anyone. That's a... is that a nun? Right. Enemy spotted. Okay. rather get him into a better position to look over the churchyard. Yeah, bad, bad terrain. But he can shoot her. Only 44? Okay. That will get a retaliate, retaliate, so it retaliation strike out of her. He can't see her. If I get within range, that will. Let's go up there. That should give us a 100% shot on her. Put a bullet straight through her chest. Now the idea of getting him... Ooh, there's actually... I mean, I'd like to get him up into this tall building, because it means we could snipe people, but the problem is if he's too far away from them, and his gun is not fantastic. Hmm. Right, one moment, folks.
Sorry about that, folks. Right, I think I will move him. He's going to move into that building. He's going to move up this side. Okay, so there was someone there that we can see. A couple more madmen. Delir is in a bad position. I'd have liked to get him into. Well, there's no easy way to get into that churchyard. What I'll do is I'll send him around this side here to cover. That guy may take... I think he's got a pistol. Yeah. Took a pot shot there. The mad, the mad nun is coming up. And they've got him pinned down in cover. Right. So first off... Can he get up here within his turn limit? That is the question, folks. Don't think he can, so he's going to have to chug it all the way to the bottom of the stairs and go up the stairs next turn. That shotgun isn't really going to be used to us at range, and he hasn't got a good enough gun. So I'm going to reposition to him here so he has better cover. Bloke behind a uh, couple of people up there. Okay. He needs to get into cover, proper cover, smartest, because that guy will riddle him if he's not careful. I mean, he could actually probably take a pot shot at the nun, if we're being honest, if we switch out his weapon. I mean, he's in okay cover from this angle. She's in no cover, so we go for a shot on her. Four damage, put a bullet straight into her. Okay. He can go up there. He can't see anybody but it protects him from here, which is good in case someone tries to flank. Ooh, they've got madmen hanging from the trees. Reload, I take this opportunity to reload him. He can't shoot anyone from this range. Really can't. So he's going to have to hunker down. Oh, he's flanked me. Nasty miss. Right. You're up, Professor. Actually, that's probably not a great idea to start with him, because obviously if we shoot, he's going to lose... He's going to lose um, all his turn. So we need to get him up into cover. You can now see the guy up here. That's the only way into that place, is there? Okay. I was going to say for a second, I thought that he had a bit of excessively large amount of movement. Well, let's get him up here. He can't see him, but that doesn't matter, because we've got this bloke in the back. Oh, let's he heard movement of someone there. Right, well we're going to move here for now. Yeah, bloke in the back. Take out the pistol. Put a bullet in his back. We'll finish him off.
so who do we have? Looks like a guy with a pistol. Nah, this isn't good. Not good at all. End turn. He's definitely got to push. Okay, get up there so we can spot him. Who can you see? Just him, okay. We could use scope sight. Yeah, let's do that. Smacking him for deliberate damage, which is always nice. He's up there. One moment, folks. Sorry about that, folks. Right. Can we get to that tree? We should be able to. So that's 62% chance, not great. Uh, okay, that's not great at all. He still can't see anyone, that's really bad. So he's going to relocate here. Ah, I took a bullet. He's going to push, and he's going to flank me and shoot me with a shotgun. Lordy boy, that was bad. Right. Relocate to here first. He can't see anyone. That guy's still there. Out of cover. And we don't let him have another chance to reload by putting a bullet for his head. We can see him. Okay. So take one action to reload. Then put a bullet into him. Right, Turner's deputy was killed. Right, move up this way. I can't see anyone. Doctor will move up this way. Come on. Spend the turn to reload. Movement. Enemy spotted. They saw someone there. So he needs to get into cover. Right. Caught him in the stomach. I need to keep... I, he needs to reload his weapon. But he's covering... So where's he covering? Yeah, he's covering out there, which isn't a great location, so I'm going to pull him back to here so he can cover this side. Come on, stop messing about. Right, so he's here. The good doctor can push now. We'll push up to here. We can't get that door open because we didn't buy the key. Right, so that was not great. Problem is, the moment I get in here, uh, the 
There's no easy cover spot, is there? Just have to prep. I don't like being out in cover like this. He needs to reload. Everything is zero. Just got to end. We're just got to end the turn. Right. So someone coming out the back. That's what I thought was going to happen. Scope him, drop him. I don't like it that a shot ends your turn, I must admit. It would be much, much nicer if... Um, I must say it would have been much, much nicer if you could like move and shoot. Like you could, it was like you took one action to shoot, not to call your turn. Right. He's in. He's okay. Get the good doctor up the stairs. We start collecting what we need to find. And turn. Right, the good doctor is still gathering all his notes. Personally, I don't see why it was considered an optional thing. to the room and found documents bearing Trumer Cliff's insignia. Right. Still nothing's going on. Right, move to the safe area. Where's the safe area? Okay, that's the safe area. Oh, lordy, don't tell me they're going to suddenly start spawning all over the place. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Safe area. Come on, come on, Solomon. Time for you to run, boy. -or. I mean, he's got the health for it. What I find interesting is these cellars are just full of dirt. So Solomon needs to get to the safe area. Which means the biggest danger for him is going to be coming out of these, this building here. So we need to get him out of dodge. Second, right, Solomon. So we've got all approaches covered, and now he can get to the exit. Summon Delia and the person set out to confront the plague of madness overtaking the land. Saved. Summon leaped into his steam carriage, hotly pursued by the Turnus men. It was the same bunch of lunatics that had been in the laboratory when he first arrived there. He was horrified by this. Their ferocity clearly they had fought themselves as lawmen. Between their lack of fear, Turner's leadership, and the sheer numbers, they had rapidly dominated the region. 
he hoped, hoped that the documents of asylum would shed some light on the madness and the source. Receive blueprint Toncliffe's notes. Return to the laboratory. So what did we get? A set of seemingly random and meaningless notes, blood stained. Ooh, max luck, that is nice. So we got blood stained. He can have the blood stained. And he can have the hook cross. What do you got? Uh ginseng. Right. Anything new? Do we get any new cards? Yes, we did. Uh, the uh, what's the which ace is that? Ace of clubs. It's jenked. Your sorts don't replenish enemy luck. Plus, nearby enemies lose luck all the time. Dang, that's nice. Ten of clubs. Vengeance. Survive. Survive a fate of sort if you kill you if if your killer if you kill your killer you'll make it otherwise you'll die. Okay. Give him that. I do like that one. I must admit. That's another Joker card. Red Joker. Four of a kind. Do we have four of the kind? Plus fifteen to aim. Uh, I'm not a fan of the. I'd rather have more max luck. He can have that one, which is two of the kind. Right. We need to go back to the laboratory. But I think we shall do that next time. I think it's a good place to stop. There's nothing new that's been opened up, is there? No. Okay. Um, I've been Cornish Knight. This has been Hard West. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Steam, or you can leave a comment in the comment section. I hope you all enjoy. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.